Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Um, Sarah just left to go to acupuncture, and it is, you can't tell, maybe you can tell better this way. It is like dark and stormy out for the next like two or three hours. But it's 4.30, so I'm still, I'm like wrapping up my work day. Um, but I don't know what we're doing today, but it is like hardcore thunderstorm outside. Just like that, my crazy at-home sleep study is complete. Oh, don't mind Sarah. She's just doing some hoodoo voodoo. That's confusing Eve, trying to get James to flip. And then, kneel high. It's 6.40 p.m. We've done absolutely nothing with our evening, but I feel like that's what today is going to end up being. I didn't sleep too good last night. We went to bed early, like 10.30 p.m. Ready for my sleep study. Great news. Peter never has trouble falling asleep. Guess what? Peter had trouble falling asleep. Stayed you in our bedroom. Have I do have a trouble falling asleep. That's like a part of So we go to bed at ten thirty and I lay there until like twelve fifteen and then I come out to the couch, lay out here. Eve kept coming out and checking on me because she was concerned. And then I think I fell asleep around twelve forty. Twelve thirty. So hopefully you got enough data to prove that yeah. woke up at 5 and in some kind of half groggy logical illogical mind I thought that was plenty of data time and I turned off the, the, the test turned off that, that sensor that was chilling on my chest and then was in and out of sleep until like 6.15 so I don't know Definitely didn't go as as well as I thought it would. Like, I didn't want to sleep well, but I wanted to sleep. I wanted there to be enough time for me to sleep. I was hopeful that, like, the chest pain would be there in the morning and that I would have gotten, like, seven, eight hours of solid sleep time for them to get good data. But instead, I got, like, five. So hopefully that's enough. I wore my, my, my Garmin watch, but that only does heartbeat, and my heartbeat was pretty consistent. I have, like, a low 40 ish like resting heartbeat um while i sleep um so we'll see we got some uh, promising messages um on the social medias about like some people like doing just the at home and it being so definitive they just went straight to the the cpap machine being sent a few days later but then other people were like no we had to do it and they do it in lab so i don't know hopefully we'll hear by this weekend what the results are Gonna fill this thing up and then we're gonna work on the baby's room tonight. Lazy day after I hope not a failed sleep study. Night at home. So the Sweetie Pie Earhart family got us the Owlet Smart Sock, which is such a nice peace of mind. So kind of them. It comes with three different size socks. This is for his little newborn self. But I just got it all set up and situated. Thankfully, it didn't take as long as the cameras. Um, but yeah, it says James is due in four weeks. So there'll be more to do like once he's here and we get it on his little foot. But there's so much fun data. It reads all sorts of stuff like heart rate and oxygen level. And it's just, I don't know, something that I know that our minds will really appreciate. I am so excited for this. Sarah's been working all night. I done nothing. So it's you now. Have. You situated the plants, and that was on my list before the baby comes. Yeah, we've been really bad about watering our plants, which we have like really resilient plants, so they can go a while without getting water, but they went too long. Actually, we actually lost. <laughs> we um, lost one. We may have lost one. I think I can salvage it. And the other one, was, I was growing this really long like vine, and I had to cut that loose. Ah! It was too, too dried out. Um, what am I ironing? I'm ironing this. Yes. But I'm going to put myself to work and I'm going to iron this bed skirt. Yes, yeah, so we're going to put it on. For the crib. Crib skirt. Crib skirt? Bed skirt? It's a bed. Chicago! We need to get this Chicago! Framed. We do. Does anybody have a good Upside framer? Upside down Chicago. In the Orlando area? I mean, Michael's unreliable. <laughs> Look at my crazy hair. And I have a gladiator on in the background. And I'm starting to pack for the hospitable. 
Oh. She's so infuriated. I just pet you. I rubbed your cheeks for like 10 minutes. Yeah, see? Side eye us all you want. You know the love you just got. All right, so I still have to wash that, the inside of it and the outside of it, but we're going to put the crib skirt. Wait, the crib skirt goes on underneath it, right? Sarah? Yeah. What about those bars? Is it not going to be by those bars? It'll be on top of the bars. Uh, well, I mean like the attachments there. I guess they would go around those corners. Yeah. Okay. Look at me. I'm prepping our diaper situation. And I think this weekend we're going to make a point a day for me to like deep clean the car mm -hmm. inside and out and we're going to get that fully Yeah. I have a set whole I <laughs> it's not that big of a checklist. It's like we have everything we need. We just have to like do do the things to get them situated so they're ready. Like yes. we have it. We have the tools. Just got to do it. Organize them. All. Yeah. Alexa, this is the start of our hospital play. packing. Yes, it is. And that's exciting. Hopefully he fits in these this one night. We're getting we're kind of close. legitimate bed? Almost. Almost. Just needs some sheets. Some sheets. Which my mom got, we'll have when he's born. Yes. Well, he's like not sleeping this right away. Right. So Sarah's mom was going to send the sheets here because she actually had them delivered to her. Right. But she's just going to bring them when she comes down. Yeah. Because she's going to come Did down. Did you show the bed skirt? Um, not it's kind of like, It's kind of looks a little silly right now. Because it's up so high. Because it's up so high, but once he grows a little bit, yeah, and we lower the mattress, it'll be there. But we didn't want it to be open right now. Right. So like the little fluff on the bottom, you'll have a better vibe once it's uh, down a little bit more. She's a very sleepy pup. She needs to take a nap. So she's gonna try out the crib. And the talk a talk. Oh gosh, she was. It's just funny, like this is the design of her bed, so. <laughs> she may feel at home. Lay down. I couldn't pick up the camera because I didn't want to startle her, but she did it. Sarah, do you see? Do you see? It's been a solid five minutes. She's still in here. I don't think she wants to leave it. She's comfy. Wow. So I don't like messy countertops. So I decided to put everything that we need to sanitize on the countertop so that it would get done. Um, hopefully I don't regret it, but this will just push us to do it. It's the week of the final countdown. We're getting everything situated. So um, this is one of the next big things on our to-do list. I have to clean all this. No, you don't. <laughs> I we just explained. I know, I heard you, but I wanted to explain my side of this. We have an unwritten deal. Sarah, 95% of the time, does the laundry. Peter, 95% of the time, does the dishes. But that's sanitizing. And you don't think I'm going to get great pleasure by sanitizing our son's stuff? And guess what? That's going to be his shelf. He can share with us, though, can he? Yeah, I know. Like, what if I need a swig of orange juice? I'm going to use that cup. <laughs> if I need to clean up something out of my teeth, I'm going to use this. <laughs> Gross, just kidding. We accidentally got... Um, caramel flavored apple cider. I think we might have talked about this already, but it like is just better if it's hot. It tastes kind of like Starbucks. We got it at Walmart. I haven't you tried really it have since much? I took a sip and we opened it. Oh, I've had a lot of it. I think I'll like it if it's I'm going to heat up. it up in this pan. And we got it. What is this called? A pot. A pot. And I'm digging on, um, we're watching Gladiator. I love it. I used to watch it with Sarah's dad all the time. Not all the time, but like often. It was just one of his I probably movies. watched it at least eight times with him. Even my mom was quoting it tonight and I was like, Mom. It would be something that like me and like he would have on or like we would see on and we'd be sitting on the couch and we would put it on, not when you were around because he wouldn't want you to see all the blood and guts. So, Such a sheltered um, child. <laughs> but we did get a, a package from our friend Teresa. 
and Cheyenne and Kim. So we got to show you a bunch of stuff. I have determined that Sarah's going to show Cheyenne's awesome stickers, but these are the awesome headbands that Kim sent Sarah. Super cute. And here are some adorable ones. These, my big sister is paws. These are from our friend Teresa. Hello, my name is James. This gives me Jim Helper vibes a little bit. This one is so good right here. Well, they're all good, but this one's like extra good. IVF, been waiting so long to meet you. And then some classics here. My first Christmas. And my first Thanksgiving. It's crazy that these are gonna be so soon and they are true, because he's gonna be here so soon. Okay, and I am showing our little sticker goodies that we got from Cheyenne. Please do not bend art inside. So our shop is called By Shy. At all the places. Yes, the shop is on Etsy. So we got a nice array. <laughs> Bless you. This is from New Girl, apartment 4D, and gave you cookie, got you cookie, which I just posted. <laughs> I just posted that scene on our Instagram story the other day. This is probably our most quoted new girl quote. Um, she had recently just sent us a Nick Miller sack pack sticker. So then we had to go and get these two. That's their apartment. This one is the teapot from the office. Love that Christmas episode. And then we got Twisted Taters and Mel's Dying, as well as this mini sticker pack. So there's L, the Showtime, 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 which is a Beetlejuice reference. Um, one of those creepy clowns. And then this little pumpkin she just threw in there. So awesome. So again, here's everywhere you can find Cheyenne. She's constantly coming out with new designs. Um, so yeah, go and check her out. All different kinds of pop culture references, super here's good prices, support. just an awesome shop. Oh, sorry, I got too close to her. Um, the cider much better warmed up, and we're almost done with um, Gladiator. And then we have to apparently then it'll be bedtime because someone is utterly exhausted. All righty, daily message: What can you do to promote world peace? Go home and love your family, Mother Teresa. Tell the vlog about your new obsession. Ewan McGregor? Yeah. Oh, um, I think we've kind of spotlighted it um, on Apple TV Plus. Every Friday they come out with a new episode of The Long Way Up, which is the third iteration of Ian McGregor and his friend Charlie's like motorcycle excursion around the world. So back in 2004 they did The Long Way Round, started in London, ended in New York City. Really good. It's on Apple TV Plus, the whole thing, whole ser whole series. Then three years later, they're doing long way ah uh, long way down where they start in Scotland and drive all the way down to um, Cape Town, South Africa, and, and that was three years later. And so now it's been like 14, 15 years since then. They're doing and more. they're doing long way up, which is from the southern tip of South America all the way to L.A. And that is like it's that whole like oh I can watch these two entire series, but now I have to wait every Friday for the long way up. All right. But it's really good. Check it out. Guess who has a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning? I go every week now. She's so sleepy. We must go straight to bed. It's All good of to be us. home. It's good to be home. She's so sleepy. Look at her. know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>